Jamu Shoyode has worked as a producer and an assistant director on some of your favorite Nollywood films, including Tunde Kilani's Mami, Dazlin Mirage, and Kulia Falayo's The CEO. Shiode recently showed he has come of age to sit in the director's chair, and this much he has done with his directorial debut in the short film Aliyah's Wish. Watch this. After many years of taking various roles behind the camera in many feature-length movies, including with Tunde Kilani and Kunle Afolayon, Jamu Shoyode steps into the big league of directors as he takes on his first production, Aliyah's Wish. He puts together a small group of industry friends to help out with the project. Although a short film, Shoyode says making Aliyah's Wish created a whole new experience for him. I was able to feel what most producers and directors feel. I've always worked on big projects, like you said earlier, and I've always worked with um, big names. And yes, at the, the maximum point I've always gotten to is um, probably the production manager, the line producer, or the stand director of the, of the feature film. But now I'm doing something on my own for the first time. I have to put everything, all the energy that I have in it. It's, it was something else. But it was a very awesome experience as well. Because now I can, I can explain and I can picture what I have in my mind from what I can see on the screen. So it's a different thing to have something in your mind, in your brain, and another thing is to see it on the screen. So everything was just correlating at some point, though not without its own hitches, but I think I had a fantastic experience. It was a very nice one. The short film centers around a nine-year-old girl who craves the attention of her parents so much that she wrote her parents a shocking essay. Abraham Lincoln. Uh -huh. uh, Dad, what is um, gender inequality? Dad, what is child abuse? Whoa, 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 lo baye, lo baye, mo busy lo. Ah, 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 oh, ah, oh, ah, ma bi no she bere ni. Ah, do ko, Hi, mom. So my daughter is Mom, when was um, Abraham Lincoln born? Hmm? Abraham Lincoln. After your five. Oh, yeah, it's okay now. Mom, what is um, gender inequality? Hmm? Mom, what is child abuse? Get down! Yes, I'll answer you. Luckily for me, um, when I chose Aliyah, the, the name of the character in the film is Aliyah. And coincidentally, happens to be the real name of the person that played that character in the film. So when I chose Aliyah, I, I know the kind of child um, Aliyah is. And I know her mother very well. The, girl is a very, the mother is very thorough. And the girl is also very active. I've seen a couple of things she's done in the past. And when I got the story, the first thing that came to my mind was, Aliyah was going to play this. So I kept all that with me until when I was ready to make the film. So working with Aliyah was very easy, uh, except the fact that, of course, she's not a professional, she's just, she's an upcoming. And at some point when you have to do a retake, cut, take again, cut, and she's like, I'm tired. We got to a point, we, we overstretched the shoot actually, uh, to probably late night in the evening, and she was very tired, and she was sleeping on set. And I was practically begging at Aliyah, this is the last thing we have to do. If you do this, then we are done, so please, so she managed to do the last thing. So um, I, I think it wasn't very difficult for me, though, because I already have a pretty knowledge of who that girl is and how she's been acting in some of the things she's done in the past. The character is played by a real nine-year-old whose real name is also Aliyah. Well, I felt happy like to be like, on camera for the first time. To, in order to memorize my scripts, she was like, at, fir at first, I should read it and try and memorize it. Then I'll write it down in a book. Then when I'm done writing it down, I'll read it all over again to see if there's any error. Sense of attraction in my house. When my dad and mom return home, they sit in front of the TV immediately, switch it on and spend hours watching with undivided attention. While watching TV, my parents laugh a lot and smile many times, but I want them to laugh and smile with me. If I become a TV, they will smile and laugh with me. All I 
want is to be like a TV. Please, Lord, make, make me into, into a TV. TV. I mean, which kind of parent neglect their children like this? Torture. Okay. On the project with Show Your Day is Femi Awojide, who doubled as the DOP and editor, as well as a formidable deputy for Show Your Day. Change to uh, like a, a television voice. Mm -hmm. from, yes, from the long shot. It was good here. But maybe it changed to this. Once it changes to this, mm -hmm. it was like, see, so I, our voice changed. You understand? It changed. Yeah, I mean, as with any as with any project, um, a lot of work goes into you know, any project, um, and Alia's wish is no exception to that. Um, from the day he contacted me to say, "Oh, Femi, you're going to help me shoot uh, this short film," till the day we finished, till the day we published um, for submission online and stuff. So, I mean, a lot of work went in. Uh, uh, we, went, we, we worked with several departments, um, film departments, to get it to screen. And the challenging thing about it was that we were working with very little to no budget at all. Uh, we basically had no budget on it, but we, we, depended, we depended on um, goodwill of people, friends. And, you know, Jamu, as a lot of people would know, has helped a lot of productions in this country himself. And one of the things we've been telling him for a long time is that, Jamie, you need to do your own stuff. And so when he came and said, oh, I have this story I need to shoot, I just, um, I was happy to hear it. And so were a lot of other people who came in to, to help from the uh, production designer to the sound designer to a lot of people on, on the project. So that was how we were able to get it done. To score the sounds, Show Your Day employed the services of another young upcoming producer, Kolade Morakinyo. Morakinyo recreated the prop sounds after shooting in an audio studio. I am reproducing the sound of the grains in a glass bowl held by the woman in the sink. After post-production, the cast and crew met again to watch the final cut. Well, I took um, the role of Alia's father, and it was um, it was um, really, really um, challenging. Why I said so is um, it's a role that I haven't taken before, and uh, it's a role that I've always looked at and, and say, can't I s say this thing? Can't it be told? You know, and um, I had the chance to, to say it. I, I was at the center of the thing, so I, 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 I took something away from that and what I took was to learn from it and I think parents uh, out there should also uh, learn to 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 get a, their children's attention uh, not to neglect them you know this is uh, something that has um, caused a lot of groups and um, which is affecting our world right now so I feel that it's a major issue you know that people see as a norm right nowadays and I feel that um, we're able to Send a message to them. Hi, Dad. Hi. Dad, when was Abraham Lincoln born? Abraham what? Okay. Abraham Lincoln. Uh -huh. uh, Dad, what is um, gender inequality? Dad, what is child abuse? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Loba ye, loba ye, mo busy lo. Ah, 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 oh, dead. Ah, ma bi no she bere ni. Doko, doko. Hi, Mom. Mom, when was um, Abraham Lincoln born? Hmm? Abraham Lincoln. After your five. Oh, yeah, it's okay now. Mom, what is um, gender inequality? Hmm? 
Oh, what is Shadabi? Gideon! Yes, I'll answer you.